Stop recording. Well, hello there. This is the Target World podcast, and we're now going to discuss episode three of Stephen Polikoff's Summer of Rockets. What a fabulous drama this is. It's period, it's beautiful, it's really well shot. It's using uh, Stephen Polikoff's normal camera crew, he used all his things, and it's just beautiful. Yes, it's a bit slow in some places, but it's just beautifully shot, and there was um, a fabulous sort of fishing party this week where um, he's made to do uh, spying by giving the camera and showing uh, photos. So uh, yeah, he's um, basically made into becoming a spy and he doesn't want to be and then you know he's persuaded to do this photography which alerts the uh, Timothy Spall character that he's spying and then you know there's this great thing at the end where you find out that you know he's actually spying for the Russians the people he thought he was actually not spying for uh, when the dog who's sort of in the MI5 starts noticing that when he speaks to him in Russian he sort of replies and does what dogs do basically so the dog understands Russian which is very interesting. Um, I thought it was a really good way they did that because he didn't see that coming and he starts talking, the Toby Stevenson character starts talking to the dog in Russian and then you notice that the dog is sort of understanding him so the dog must speak Russian which is very interesting. Uh, around this you have all the development of the uh, Keely Hall character who's looking for her son who went missing and manages to persuade one of his friends to give him her information by going to one of these uh, disgustingly old-fashioned dances you know because it being the season, last season of coming out with uh, the Shaws and she's the sort of um, person has gone with uh, Simon's daughter basically because he's being brought out for the season which he doesn't want to be there so he'd rather go and do a nuclear holocaust experiment where you're made to feel like you've been burnt by a nuclear bomb because it's the uh, late part of the uh, 1950s where nuclear bombs were all about and then Russian spies were fought so yeah if you enjoy the sort of very intense sort of drama builds and builds very slowly what gives you lots of information looks beautiful lavish parties everywhere looks stunning and you really will enjoy Stephen Polikoff's outlook of this world and you know there's just the fact that you see this world of also disabled people back then you know, all whole of his staff are deaf and uh, his daughter becomes great friends and ends up staying at a house and you see how they have parties and how he's sexually active so yeah it gives out a really good outlook on um disabled people and this from that time period because you know 1950s disabled people weren't treated in the best way unfortunately but yeah i really recommend this it's got good pace it is just one we have to watch and concentrate definitely um but yeah it's well worth watching Keely hall is fantastic and toby stevens is very good uh Timothy Spall is playing this very sort of cabinet minister lord and it's very understated but it's a really good performance again for Timothy Spall. Um, he loves working with Stephen Pollock. I think he's been most of his most recent things. But yeah, if you like a good slow build spy drama, a bit like a Jean de Clary, then you really will enjoy this. So watch it. It's on the... Um, I play, and I've just noticed what you can binge watch all the episodes and really annoying habit of the BBC now is to put all their episodes up and not have audio description on the uh, box set on the iPlayer. So if you're blind, please lobby the RNIB about this. Um, yeah, because we need to get so we can watch all the box sets and binge watch like everybody else does. So enjoy and uh, yeah, I'd well recommend binge watching this, you know, get a bottle of wine out and enjoy basically.